Hey, what's up everyone, Same Time Gaming here. Welcome back for another Division 2 build video. Well guys, today I have a very good uh, crit build for all of you. Now, this is a different crit build, not like the crit builds we usually use. Uh, the talents are kind of different. I'm going for a different approach here. And this build, if you run this build, will completely change the way you play the game. It has actually changed the way I play the game. I've been using this build for a couple of days now and it has completely changed the way I play. Usually I'm more like a run and gun type of person. I just go right there on the face and shoot the NPCs, but then I do die a lot because you know I'm out of cover. I'm just ADSing NPCs. So that way I do die a lot. I've seen glass cannon, perfect glass cannon players go face tank NPC and a couple seconds later they're on the floor. So what's the point of running higher DPS build where you spend most of the time on the floor and not doing the damage? So that's why this build is here and it will make sure, actually it's going to force you to stay in cover because if you're not in cover, you're not going to get that damage. And if you want that damage, you have to be in cover. So it's like a hunker down kind of build, stay down, stay in cover, um, you know, clear the uh, NPCs, you know, missions or whatever content you're playing and also buff your group as well. Um, so that's basically the build. So let me show you, this is how I'm running it. Now, all of them are high ends except one exotic piece, which is the knee pads. It's a Sawyer's knee pads. Now, uh, I'm running technician specialization for a bunch of reasons. First, I'm getting that plus one skill tier because I'm running two skills, as you can see, drone and a striker, I mean, striker drone and a turret, a soul turret. And, uh, and also I'm gonna stay close to my skills. So I'll be kind of immune from EMP because of that uh, technician. There's, you can run different skill if you want to, but I'm going for the technician mainly because of that plus one skill tier. Now I'm running these two weapons. My primary is police M4 and tactical MK16. Now I would say both of these weapons are my primary because I use both of these weapons most of the time. Uh, it's not like I use something more than the other one. The reason why I have police M4 in my primary because it got in sync and also I'm running, uh, you know, skills there so in sync it's working with it but then uh, i do swap to my tactical mk16 uh, because when the killer gets active it just kills anything you know it melts so that's all i can say you can run like fall any weapon with like lower rpm with high total damage like you know acr or something like that that would be fine as well uh, especially for console if you're having trouble with high rpm weapon like famas and all that so you can run uh, tactical mk now you could run a rifle but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend using a rifle. I mean, if you want, you can run it. You can run three-piece Providence, but I'm running one-piece Fenris here. So that's why I'm going for the assault rifles here. Um, now, speaking of uh, Providence, I have two-piece Providence here. You can see mask, 15% headshot damage, 10% crit chance. I got that 15% weapon damage in a crit chance, crit damage, and uh, crit damage mod here. And for the backpack, I also have a Providence. You can see weapon damage, crit damage, crit damage mod. Now, I rolled skill damage here on purpose because my crit chance was so high. If I roll like crit chance here, I will be losing crit chance. Yes, I could have gone for like weapon handling and such. You could do it uh, if you have the opportunity to change uh, like I have. So yeah, but otherwise I'm going for skill damage. So that way my skill will do a little more damage. And I have the companion talent here. Now I'm going to tell you why I'm running companion. Uh, you, I mean, since it's a cover based game, and also this build is also allowing you to stay in cover. That's the majority of this build, right? You stay in cover, you do the damage. You could run like composure. You know, when you're in cover, you get that weapon damage, total weapon damage by 15%. You can run composure, but I'm running companion because I can't change the talent now, but companion is really good and it actually works solo. Yes, even though it says you have to get close to like within five meter of a skill for, for your like ally skill or something like that. But no, companion works solo because uh, it, it works with your skill. That's basically what I can say. Your skill will activate companion. And uh, that's basically most people, you know, get confused with. They think that they have to be close to an ally or their skill. No, your skill works as an ally as well. So if you, if you have a drone or a turret close by, uh, then you will get companion active. So yeah. Um, now the Fenris chest piece, uh, you can see weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage. Got that Overwatch talent. Um, Stay in cover, you know, weapon damage and skill damage got increased by 12%. And also uh, it's gonna buff your group members as well, you know, their skill and their weapon damage. So it's also good for like support. And I uh, got the group of Somra holster here. You can see crit damage, 15% for, for one piece. I got that weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage. 
and I've got a Sheshka gloves for that 10% crit chance. Um, if you have good crits, then you can run different gloves if you want to. You can run three-piece Providence by then. Um, you know, you can run like one-piece Fenris and also three-piece Providence. I mean, I could have actually, but I don't have a Providence gloves, unfortunately. So I'm sticking with Sheshka. Uh, so yeah. Now, the main thing is this, Sawyer's knee pads. You gotta need this. You need, you need the Sawyer knee pad with this build because if you're in cover, you know, look at this, stand your ground, the talent. You cannot be staggered by explosion, first of all. So no explosion is going to stagger you. And you get increased total weapon damage by 3%. You know, each second you're not moving, it stacks up to 10. So basically you have 30% of total weapon damage. Yeah. So when you're in cover, but if you move, you still get your uh, damage. I mean, it will stay for like 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it's going to, uh, it's going to go away, but it's not like you can't move. You build up the damage, and if you move, you still get to keep the damage for at least 10 seconds. So this is really sweet. You know, it's a really nice uh, knee pad. Plus, you have that armor roll here as well, so you get that more armor. So basically, higher armor than all high-end builds, right? I mean, all red builds. So yeah, that's basically the build. I also have, like I said, turret which is kind of doing 42 right now, but with the, all the talents and stuff, it's going to do more than that. And I also have the drone. Uh, if you want, you can run a hive, but I'm going for two skills because it's really good. And NPC get distracted by these two, so it's really nice. Now, my stats, let me show you my stats here. As you can see, 56.9% crit chance, basically at 57. Now, if I change this uh, skill damage to crit chance, I will have max crits, of course, but since I have 57% crit chance. I feel that's that's good. I don't want to roll crit chance over there, so I will lose a bit of crit chance. So I'm going for skill damage, you know, and also have really good crit damage here, 162.8, you can see. And uh, I got the all weapon damage, 80.5, assault rifle damage, 38%. So yeah, that's that's basically in terms of damage. Now let me show you how much damage I can actually put on with this build. So you can see I moved, but my sword knee pad is still active. Now it's going to go away. You can see it stays for 10 seconds. Now we're going to go away. So now Overwatch is building up and, then, and also Swear's knee pads. So I'm going to drop my turret uh, just for the in sync talent I have on my uh, M4. So right now you can see companion is active because I have my uh, turret in close to me. I've seen many people say that companion is more like a team thing. No, if you have your skill close to you, companion is active. So you can see right now, there is no friends, no group members, no NPCs around me, but companion is active because of my turret. Now, if I shoot with the turret, so you get that in sync active. If it shoots someone, yeah, there you go. Now you can see with in sync, Overwatch, companion, sword knee pads, I'm going to do 440, uh, 498,000 crate, basically 500,000, because my weapon damage is not maxed on my backpack. So it's basically 500,000 as a crate on body with this build right now I'm doing. And uh, on the head, it will be more than that, of course. So on the head is 669, something like that. Yeah, 669, yes, that's the headshot. And uh, the body is 498,000 with, uh, with the police M4. Now with the uh, tactical MK16, which not gonna get benefit with the Overwatch talent i mean not not overwatch the insync talent my bad uh, it will not get benefit from the insync talent but I have killer so when killer gets active let me show you when killer is active right now killer is active i'm going to do 634000 as a crit on body with this so that's that's insane right that's really good for for a build you're staying in cover most of the time and overwatch is working for your teammates as well so if they're running a dps build and a skill build or whatever they're getting 12% damage from you so that's the that's the whole point of this build. Just stay in cover. Now, don't tell me to run different way. You know, you could run spotter. You can run this. Yes, I know I can, but I don't want to. The like I said, the majority of this build is to stay in cover and do the damage. That's basically what it is. I just deploy my drone to the NPCs and I just drop my turret in front of me, so I get that companion, and also you know I'm kind of immune from EMP and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how I use this build. And if I use in sync, my turret actually gonna do really nice damage. You can see almost 60k per uh, per round or per, per bullet, if I should say. So yeah, that's almost 60k, like 
hundred, uh, fifty nine, two hundred, something like that. So, yeah, it's really good. That's all I can say. I've been using this build for a couple of days, and I'm having fun. I I don't have any trouble doing content solo because this build is allowing me to stay in cover, and I'm doing really nice damage. I do cover to cover moves nowadays. It's so funny. I'm more like I said, I'm more like a person who is like a run and gun type of player, but I'm staying in cover just to keep these um, talents active and do the damage. So yeah, that's uh, that's how this build is working. And uh, yeah, give it a try. That's all I can say. Give it a try and let me know how you feel about it. It's really good. It's going to keep you, uh, you know, alive for a long time. And uh, you're not going to die too much because you're in cover. And that's all I can say. Uh, just try it out. Let me know how you feel it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.